15 to 10. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. So out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're in position to do so. So he's stunned for no gain. And that will bring him third and one. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They'll try and run for this with Morris. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll go again here with Moss. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. A really nice effort that time. 12 yards on the keeper, picking up the first. Well, with him trailing here in the second half, maybe his legs can try to give this offense a spark. And that's the benefit of having a young quarterback, right? Having a rookie, a guy who will say, hold on a second, I have a little bit of fearlessness to my game. It isn't working as well the other way. Let's see what I can do to help my team this way. And boy, he did it there. Offense is moving them a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? He finds his man complete. It's McKenzie. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Ball start. Awesome. They were going for it on fourth and inches, now fourth and five. Yeah, everything had built to a crescendo, hadn't it? Fourth and inches. I mean, we were coming out of our chairs up here. Now on fourth and five, you've got to think about whether you want to go for it or not. Jay's kick is good, and that's going to tie us at 13. So they come away from this opening drive in the third quarter with only three. Right now, we're all even. It's a tie game as we drop you back in, and the offense gets set to take over. They'll run here with Moss. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Touchdown, Colts! Zach Moss. It'll be a first and ten coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter. They'll start on the ground with Moss. 
pushing through the contact. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only are they scouted the line of scrimmage, but their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Meanwhile, Richardson's throw caught by Pierce. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. A gain of 11 that time at a Colts first down. Now it's Richardson. And he whips that one incomplete there. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Not have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. On second down, here's a run with Moss. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On third down, here's Richardson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 37. A sizable 16-yard chunk there. The drive continues. On first down, Richardson. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Richardson working from the gun. And that is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it. Don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute goal. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Back to the air with Richardson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's McKenzie. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's go now. Back now in Houston. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. The Colts on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and two. They'll go up the middle here with Morris. And he'll get into the end zone. A touchdown. In So the football Ready, will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run on first down with Moss. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Here's second and seven now from... Here's Richardson to throw. That's complete to Pierce. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 
The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Well, he finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Richardson able to shake him off. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. First and ten. Here's Richardson with it. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. The catch and run. Good for 18 and a first down. He's got his man. It's Pierce. Touchdown! Alec Pierce, his second touchdown on. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On the handoff, running left, Moss. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe do you put it in the air on second down, or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. Hits his target to tight end, Mo Alley Cox. So fresh out of the two-minute okay, warning, ready? and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Ready? And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. Now Moss hit, and the front ball pops free. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Here's a give to Moss out of the shotgun. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. scoring game Charles than we typically see in the National Football League but fun to watch these offenses they were really clicking it seemed like everything that they dialed up worked yeah so it was fun to watch from our perspective I'd like to be those defensive coaches though that wasn't a blast for them at all and let's face it they all game plan they all scout they all think they're prepared but executing and stopping teams that's another matter entirely 
So for Indianapolis, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Baltimore to take on the Ravens.